Right, this is Adam Beanstock. I'd just like to um, say about uh, um, hymn tunes and church music going into um, dance music. We, 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 we discussed it with um, John Playford in the 1650s, uh, 1651 with the dance master, introducing hymn tunes into the dance tunes and then they're becoming dance tunes themselves. But this happened a bit later on in the 18th century with the Irish music and we've got St Catherine's Reel, which uh, probably a lot of people know, I'm going to put it with another real new anything, but I'm going to play the original uh, theme, what, what it could have sound like, and some people say, I've checked up on Google, that um, this tune could have could have been written by Jean-Philippe Rameau um, as one uh, as, a, as an influence of tune into dance, um, but it was adopted by the the Irish. Um, I mean, I don't want to get into trouble here, but this this tune is an Irish tune, and uh, but it's got a hymn-like quality. I'll just play what I think it would have would have sounded originally on the organ then we go on to the, the dance music <laughs> Now we're going to go outside, pick up the fiddle, and have a dance. Have a dance and a pint and two reels. Here we go.
okay that was a uh, pint in the real pint and two reels and the, and the and the first one I played after the organ thing was called new anything but it doesn't really mean anything I think uh, probably a more appropriate name for that would be with peeling of bells wouldn't it really because uh, because of descending passage anyway so I'll give you with some insight and thought on that and uh, uh, get back with your comments that'd be really good <laughs>